how's it going? I was told last time I started too fast. So, here, can you see that? See my little sign? Come here, sign. I started too fast. And so I earned, and so I'm supposed to be awkward for a while while everybody <laughs> has a chance to come in. But I'm not very good at, I'm excellent at being awkward. But I couldn't pass up a teaching opportunity. So I thought I would tell you about the history of Epsom salts. That sounds really boring, but it's kind of interesting while we give everybody like two or three seconds to come in. So Epsom salts were discovered in 1618 by this guy named Henry Wicker in the town of Epsom, England. And he was taking his cows out to find some water. It was pretty dry and he couldn't find anything except this one little bitty puddle in the hoof print of a cow. So he used a shovel, he dug a big hole, and then the next day he came back and it was full of water and he was like, yes! Except the cows wouldn't drink it because it tasted terrible because of all the minerals that were in the water. So that's how Epsom salts were discovered. Everybody came to the town because it was a great spa location and now they just kind of, they mine it from the earth. So that's where they come down. But Henry Wicker, you can say thank you to him all the way from 1618 so that we can take Epsom salt baths today. Okay, anyway, let's get started. Here is what you need for your bath salts. You're gonna need a cup of Epsom salts, a half a cup of baking soda, and then 10, young living, 10 drops of Young Living essential oil. Your choice, but I'll give you some details on that in just a second. So, I got a big old giant bag of Epsom salts because we use them a lot and because I make giant jars of Epsom salts, bath salts. But we're not going to make this much today, so don't worry. Um, but I just find it's easier to make a whole bunch rather than trying to make some like every few days. So you can make a, a giant bag and if you want to. So the first thing we're going to do is get our handy little mixing bowl and put in one cup of Epsom salts. And I already poured it out because the bag was practically empty because I used it all. <laughs> so. In go the Epsom salts. So get your one cup of Epsom salts in there. And then I told you if you didn't have a giant box of uh, baking soda to go get one, this is my, my giant box, because we're gonna be using it again pretty soon for lots of other good stuff. So you need half of a cup of the baking soda. And like I said last time, it's not rocket science, so if you get a little more than half a cup, that's okay. You get a little less than half a cup, that's okay. Whatever, that's about right. Okay, so pour that in there. And then just mix it up. Okay, so now that you're, oh yeah, I was told I went too fast last time. So I'll slow it down. Mix it up. How's that? <laughs> okay, so um, now your Epsom salts are all mixed up. You've got three options. Before we start adding the essential oils, I'm gonna tell you three options you got. You know I love my whiteboards, yeah? What teacher doesn't love whiteboards? Okay, so the first option you can do is just go ahead and add your 10 drops of Young Living essential oils. Um, if you don't have essential oils, you can use um, half a teaspoon of vanilla, just the regular vanilla that you cook with, and that'll give you a really good smell. So um, you can do that. Or you could make a giant base, make a base. If you're not giving these as gifts and you just wanna use them for yourself, then make a base and don't add the oils because then you can um, add whatever oils you want depending on what's going on that day. So if you're super stressed out or your muscles hurt, you can add different oils. So that's an option for you. Or number three, which I'm gonna get into in a little bit, is um, soak your empty bottles. So that's another option, but I'll show you that in just a second. What I'm gonna do is add my essential oils. And since I'm not a bath person, I'm a shower person, um, I make these for my kids because it really helps them get on the road to being sleepy. So I'm gonna add just 10 drops of lavender for my kids. If you're making this for yourself, a nice combo for um, relaxing is five drops each of lavender and stress away. That is a really good combo. And if you're having sore muscles, 
Another good combination you can do is uh, five drops of peppermint and five drops of Panaway. So those are these are all in the kit so that you know if you just have a kit for right now, you are set. Um, and then if you're not feeling very well and your immune system is needing a little help, you can just do 10 drops of thieves. So there's all different kinds of combinations you can make with the bath salts, but I'm going to just do 10 drops of my lavender oil because this is what my kids use. Okay, so now once you've chosen your essential oil combo, add those 10 drops, mix it all up so that gets all over and everything. And then you're done. That was pretty quick and easy. The fastest Christmas present you'll ever make, right? Yeah. Okay, somebody asked a question and I missed what it was. I'm sorry. So you asked a question and I didn't answer it. <laughs> Can you ask it again? Um, so then I just pour it into my jar and try not to get it all over the counter and then you're you're done it is pretty awesome i agree with you and try not to make a big mess otherwise it looks like you've been cooking meth in your kitchen counter or something okay so there you have it your epsom salts are done what I usually do for my kids is I put about a quarter of a cup of this into the bath while the water is running to get it all mixed up, um, but they don't use a lot of water in their baths. So you might use half a cup or a full cup um, in your bath, whatever, whatever you like to use. Um, so that's the basics, but what I want to talk to you about was option three, soaking your empty bottles. So if you've got some empty bottles, and I have a ton of them. All you have to do is take the dropper cap off and how you do that is just put the cap on a little bit and then pull it off. But don't pull it toward your eye because I popped lemon drops into my eye doing that before and that wasn't pleasant. And there you go. And then you just stick it upside down into the Epsom salt and leave it there for overnight. And then in the morning your bottle will be nice and clean and your Epsom salt bath will be ready for you to go. So that's how you make Epsom salts or Epsom salt bath. You guys have any questions? Questions? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? Okay. So um, some other combinations that you might like um, with oils out of the box are lime and um, peppermint. I got that from my friend Courtney. It's the Mojito Blend. So you do five of each, and that smells pretty awesome. Um, Peace and Calming is another good one to add to bath water for your kids or for yourself, maybe with some Stress Away or Lavender. And then another thing for sore muscles, Aroma Seas, very nice. Deep Relief, really nice. These are great for sore muscles after a hard workout or you've got some kind of uh, pains, aches and pains in your muscles, these are really good for that too. Okay, so next week we're on break because it's Christmas. So the next time we're doing our boot camp, it will be on Wednesday the 30th because Thursday is New Year's Eve. And maybe you guys have plans. I'll be asleep by nine, but I'm sure some of you guys have a life and don't have plans. So, um, purification, thieves, a carrier oil that is not coconut oil because you don't want this to solidify on you, and a bottle. And you can use one of your empty bottles after you put them in your Epsom salt bath. Use one of your empty bottles. And if you have a roller fitment, let me put this here, one of these little guys. That's really handy for your immune booster. That's what we're making next week or in two weeks. Immune booster because you just roll it on right after bath or whatever. But if you don't have one of these, it's okay to use the drop regulator. Okay, last thing I forgot to mention last time. So you know I record this and I put it on YouTube. So if you are watching this on YouTube and you want to get in on the live action and be able to ask questions, you can follow me on Periscope at AK Waffle. And if you're on 
um, Periscope and you want to see these again and 24 hours is up, then you can look for me on YouTube at Amanda Wyrick. And all you have to do is search for that and my channel will come up. Right? So thanks guys. I'll see you on Wednesday the 30th and we'll make an immune booster roller. Awesome. Bye.